Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Britton. I'm an epilepsy physician at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, I primarily I care for adults with uh, epilepsy. Today I would like to talk about uh, the first seizure. Um, following a, seizures are a very common phenomena. Every person has the ability to have a seizure under the uh, right circumstances. Um, people who have a proclivity to recurrent seizures are said to have epilepsy. Not everybody who's had a seizure has epilepsy. Epilepsy affects 0.5 to 1% of the population, whereas seizures will affect somebody, people uh, at some time during their life in 5% of uh, people. Uh, this is a very high percentage, and seizures are a very common phenomena. Not, since not all seizures mean a person has epilepsy, it's important to determine which person after having had a first seizure is likely to go on to have more seizures and hence uh, require medications to uh, inhibit seizures. Um, making that determination can be a challenge. It's essential after a first seizure that uh, patients and their families uh, go to a healthcare provider to get proper evaluation in order to determine the risk of having more seizures and the need for uh, medication therapy. <clears throat> there are fairly common entities that can cause a seizure that are reversible and once reversed do not uh, lead to the requirement to go on seizure medication long term. Examples of conditions such as that include hyponatremia, that's a condition where a person's blood sodium level gets too low, uh, which can occur in the setting of diuretic therapy uh, or uh, other conditions. If the sodium level gets too low, that can cause a seizure. Once the sodium level is corrected, that person may not need seizure medications in the future. Um, other examples of conditions that can produce a seizure are certain medications. Certain painkiller medications such as tramadol, otherwise known as Ultram, uh, or other opiate um, uh, pain uh, medications occasionally can lower the seizure threshold and cause seizures. Certain antidepressant medications such as Welbutrin, which by the way can also be used as a smoking cessation uh, drug, may also produce uh, seizures in a small percent of the population. So in someone who's had a first seizure, a careful medication history is essential to see if uh, any medications a person is taking uh, could have been a factor. Illegal or recreational drugs also sometimes can produce seizures. Amphetamines, cocaine um, may produce seizures. Um, <clears throat> seizures can also occur in patients with alcohol dependency and abuse. Um, particularly during times of withdrawal, but also uh, sometimes during times of intoxication. So a careful drug history uh, will be important for the care provider to inquire about uh, in patients who present after a first seizure. Patients who have had a seizure should not be offended if a care provider inquires about such habits because uh, they may be a factor in some people and as part of routine care.